Hi, I'm Mark Lawn of Taylor Clark and today I've got Ian Brown with me to discuss the Taylor Clark's journey making process. So Ian, what is journey making? Journey making makes order out of chaos. Well, that's a big statement, so could you tell us more? Yeah. It helps us to understand where the organisation wants to be, where it is today, and how to put plans in place to get it from where it is to where it wants to be. Okay, and so what are the main parts of the process? The main parts are firstly creating an environment in which everyone feels safe and comfortable, mm -hmm. where they can express their opinion and express their views and have them heard. Okay, an open forum. Yeah, It's an open forum uh, that is designed to create consensus within the group. Okay. The second part is to capture that information and that's captured both in real time mm -hmm. but also in a computer system so that they can be used for later reference. Okay, and to access the information in a structured manner, yeah? Yeah, it yeah. allows us to structure that information, find the hot spots within that information. It also allows us to later look back at it and understand the context in which people okay. set things. Okay, so what kind of organisations use this process? There's many kinds of organisations use it across um, all sectors and it can be used on a one-to-one -one basis mm. through to a multinational. Mm. Most most organisations are SMEs mm. um, and it can be used at any level within the organisation as well. Okay, and who in the organisation is involved in the in the process? Normally if it's strategic you would start at the top working with the, the directors and senior managers. Mm. Um, if we get into the implementation phase then we can work with managers and even people at, at the shop floor level mm -hmm. to help them engage and, and understand where the organisation is going and help understand how to get there. Tell me, what differentiates this process from other strategic review processes? I think the big thing is that one, it focuses on consensus, but secondly, um, it manages complexity. Um, it accepts that strategy making is complex and rather than mm -hmm putting things into a box, we deal with the complexity and manage the complexity. Well thank you Ian, that's very interesting. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to speak to us, then we'd like to speak to you. Please get in touch.